drop a like of the video in the next five seconds or NBA 2K22 current will be the worst 2K of all time. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H D F, and I am back at it with yet another banger. Today is our first NBA 2K22 video of the year, and yes, I'm already breaking the game off rip. I have the best guard build in NBA 2K22 current gen for you guys. 10,000 likes on this video, and I will drop a next gen build video, and I will drop my first gameplay on this build for NBA 2K22 current gen. As you can see, I'm walking around the cruise ship right now. I have the game a little early. There's no Nobody really on obviously but I already went into the builder did a little research was in there for a couple hours and I found what I think is the best build an NBA 2K22. It could do it all. It can dunk. It can shoot. It can dribble. It can play defense. It's tall. It can speed boost. It's got everything you would want in a build. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 1 million subs on the way. And let's go ahead without further ado. Let's get straight into this build video. I was so excited. We are in NBA 2K22 Builder right now. This is current gen. Yes, I'm going to be playing both current gen and next gen. So if you want to play next gen, you can wait for my next gen build video. But this is going to be the current gen build. Now, before we get into this builder, I am going to make the best ISO build right here. This build, I, I, I went in the lab. I, there's a bunch of new pie charts we're going to go over. I'm going to go over everything of why I picked this, why I picked that, and why I think it's going to be the one of the best builds, if not the best build in the game right now um so yeah so first we're gonna go with shooting guard shooting guard just gets it's just better trust me it just gets more at it gets a couple more attributes i'm pretty sure it's the same badges and the stats are the same but another thing there's a new badge called mismatch expert and if i eventually iso with a lock that went point guard that means the center is gonna be on me on the twos court and with that badge on like hall of fame or something bro, i'm about to go crazy but anyways i'm gonna go left-handed i always go left and y'all already know i'm going number one y'all see i already got the face can on. i i can't get red hair right now but we chilling right going on to the next step there are a bunch of new pie charts i'm about to show you right now okay most of them are at the bottom here there's a new pie chart that's 60 percent yellow 40 percent green it's not very good the driving is pretty bad and the defense is pretty mediocre this pie chart is pretty crazy now if you're like a lockdown that wants to sit corner or maybe a stretch build you want to be a popper this pie chart is ridiculous it is actually better than the half green half yellow or half green half red even though the half green and half red gets hall of fame finish or hall of fame defense and hall of fame shooting this one only gets hall of fame shooting but the stats are insane look at this I'm, you're telling me at 99 i'll have a 93 3 a 93 steal oh my god i'm telling you this was good now i almost went with this pie chart to make my iso build on but unfortunately the ball handle to get it above an 80 you need to be like 6 3 and that's just too short and the driving just wasn't as good so yeah and i won't be able to i wouldn't be able to speed boost with it either but this is a very good pie chart to look at uh, we have another one 60 percent blue 40 percent red 58 three pointer not cutting it same with this 58 three pointer up here red eh, or not up here red or uh, mostly red little green to be honest this is just a worse version of this it, it, you know, in my opinion then we have the pure red we've already seen that and most of these other pie charts are basically the same yes the play shot is still overpowered um a little bit but the gameplay is completely different so i don't think the play shot is gonna be like it was last year and then um yeah you know there's some other good builds by the way the 6-8 blah is still good but i don't think insides are gonna be nearly as good as outsides i think it's gonna be a huge huge advantage running an iso lineup or running a, a screens lineup where your center can shoot but anyways um the pie chart i'm gonna be going with is half red half yellow if you guys remember i broke the game in 2k20 with this pie chart and this pie chart will be breaking the game again now before i click on this you guys are probably wondering double h 66 three-pointer yes 66 three-pointer is gonna be more than enough uh there's a lot of people with 2k20 oh, not a lot but there is a good amount of content creators with 2k22 and they're playing it right now and they are greening with a 63 pointer with no badges now i'm gonna interrupt this right quick this is draymond green right in the practice arena this is on superstar difficulty he has a 66 three-pointer with two, two shooting badges and they're both bronze and i was shooting at the top of the key in the corner and it's draymond green's jump shot his jump shot is terrible just for proof superstar superstar difficulty which is probably higher than park and even stage and yes he has a 66 three-pointer it's draymond green's jump shot with two shooting minutes so yes i don't have gameplay of content creators playing but this is some gameplay right here so it's mike wang was right when he tweeted out a couple weeks ago that it's gonna be like 2k20 when it comes to shooting so 
the two-way slash play is back so we're gonna go with max speed right here and how i made this build is you know we're gonna go step by step now obviously we're gonna upgrade the most obvious things first we're gonna max the driving layup we're gonna max the driving dunk max the mid-range max the three max the free throw max the post fade now that's 11 shooting batteries you can't go down anymore you know or else it's going to take away shooting bad so shooting is perfect we're going to get 11 shooting bad is that's going to be enough i'm not worried about shooting it's going to be perfect um you can shoot with no bad is i'll be able to shoot with 11 bad is okay uh max pass accuracy max ball handle uh this is already 20 play big badges if i go down anymore it's gonna go below 20 so we're gonna keep that for now defense we're just gonna max a bunch of stuff right here and this is what we have right now so we have one finishing 11 shooting 20 playmaking and 18 defense with 35 attribute upgrades left now this build can get contact dunks once you um get the wingspan up so i don't want to have contact dunks and just have one finishing badge so actually if we go ahead actually before we do that i'm going to upgrade the defense a little bit so if we upgrade that let's say we upgrade the block right the most we can get right here is tw is 20 defense so we may as well take down the interior take down the block all the way down right here look at how much attributes we saved right there and i only went down one defensive edge and then if i put this on my close shot i have an 85 or not an 85 i have five finishing badges five that is ridiculous okay now we could either go five right here we can actually go down one put this on post control but we can either go five, four, let's see. Let's see when I can get my next playmaking badge because you can get 21 playmaking right here, I'm pretty sure. Yes, you can get 21 playmaking right there. Now, to be honest, I'm, what's more important? One more playmaking or having five finishing? I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna take the five finishing. I think that is definitely worth it and then we'll throw the extra attribute on block there you go so five finishing bad is 11 shooting 20 playmaking and 19 defense look at these stats bro we're not even done yet and anyways body shape i'm gonna go with compact you can really go with whatever you can go with slight it really doesn't matter but i'm going compact uh height this is pretty interesting now if you go down to six four there's just no point of doing this you don't really gain speed you're already gonna have a 99 speed once you get your gatorade stuff i don't need any more ball hand i'll be able to speed boost and get all the dribble moves um the driving dunks going down we needed to go up for contact dunks and then it's just it's just lowering my defensive stats so you may as well stay at six five right well you might ask why not go taller six six you're already lowering the three you're lowering the driving layup a lot the ball hit a lot and the defense a lot so six five is the perfect height okay so we're gonna go with six five and then with the weight you could go minimum but there's no point in going minimum you may as well go up to at least until the acceleration goes down i went down right here so we're gonna go 178 pounds now as you can see now we're on the wingspan now i was debating with the wingspan right now let's say you minimize it these are the takeover options so there's not a lot of options you you max it these are the options so the only thing that disappeared and appeared was shot creating take so if you want shot creating take you can go one below max and it's available to you but i don't want shot creating take now the difference between now that then my decision right here was either go max wingspan or two below you can go with whatever you want but i decided to go max it's only gonna be a one difference in three pointer and if i go up max not only am i gonna have max wingspan but i am gonna have a better driving dunk better close shot better defensive stats it's just gonna be better all around so i'm gonna go max wingspan i would definitely prefer i would definitely advise you going at least 84.2 don't go anything below that um because yeah i mean you could minimize it and get like a 73 three-pointer at 99 but like bro minimum wingspan your defense is going to be cruised so go max wingspan and these are your takeover options slashing playmaking and lock now before we go into that let's look at these stats so you gotta remember plus four to everything when you hit 99 okay so i'm gonna have a 97 steal a 91 lateral a 91 perimeter and an 82 rebound and a 53 block Bro, those stats are insane. A 97 steal? I may as well be a pure lock out here, okay? 88 ball handle. I'll be able to speed boost and unlock all the drill moves. Now, most of the drill moves in the shop I'm going to put on the screen right now. Most of them, you only need an 80 ball handle. But I want to be able to speed boost. There are some dribble moves that Kyrie has that you're going to need an 85 for. And remember, there's drill moves that are... Just there are drill moves that are seasonal. I'm pretty sure the curry slide is not out right now. So you're probably going to need a decent um, ball handle rating for the drill moves that are going to come in the future. 
um and then as you can see on the screen these are the driving dunk set um stats you're gonna need at least an 84 driving dunk for some of the smaller uh dunk packages the the first two ones and then after that you need like a 92 so unless you're like a pierce last year you're not getting those but anyways yeah this build is gonna be insane 99 speed 99 excel 79 vertical as well so we're gonna go ahead and click that lock player slash i wouldn't recommend going lock i don't know i actually you know what you can go any of the three of these i honestly i could go any of the three of these right now and i would be still excited with slashing takeover you're probably gonna be a lot faster you're gonna get more contact dunks and takeover playmaking takeover you're gonna be able to break ankles dot your teammates and you're gonna be way faster when you're dribbling the ball and then lock takeover is going to just boost your like speed vertical a lot and it's going to make your defense a lot better to be honest you can literally go any of the three of these but i'm going to go with play make it take i think i'm going to have a lot of fun with it and it's going to be make, make my teammates that are sitting in the corner a lot better at shooting so i'm going to go with play make it take over right here and this is going to be the two-way playmaker comparisons or shades of paul george clay thompson and richard hamilton hey those are very good defenders and Clay Thompson, I mean, shit, he's a good shooter. We're not as good a shooter as Clay Thompson, but hey, this is a good build. We're gonna go ahead and go to my career. Trust me, bro. I cannot wait to play on this build. So I know I haven't maxed out the badges yet, but these are the badges I would use if I did have them maxed out, just so you guys know, because there's a lot of new badges on current gen. If you guys didn't play next gen last year, you're missing out on some important badges. So to start with the finishing 100% gold posterizer, I got to get gold posterizer. Now the other two badges, it's kind of debatable. There's a new one called Limitless Takeoff, and it says favors dunks and layups from farther takeoff range. So how I look at that is maybe I can jump from like further away to get a dunk when I'm ice wing, maybe like from the free throw line. So I'm probably gonna test that out and put that on silver to start. But if that's not good, then I'm just gonna go with Fearless Finisher, which is just basically just Relentless Finishers, Finish and Contact Layups. So I'll probably go with that. And then with the shooting badges, now I only have 11 shooting badges, so this is gonna be kind of debatable. When I do get my hot zones, 100% gold hot zone hunter. We're gonna go with silver green machine. And this is the new limitless range bat. So I'm gonna go with Hall or not Hall of Fame, because obviously I don't get Hall of Fame shooting badges, but I'm gonna go with gold limitless, bronze dead eye as well. You're gonna need dead eye. I might even bump that up to silver eventually. And then with the last badge, it's another one of those where it depends on which one I go with. Rhythm Shooter is a new badge, and it says improves shots taken after breaking down your defender. If that's good, I'll put that on silver. But if that's not good, I feel like blinders might be overpowered like it was in next gen. So I'll use either silver or gold blinders. But I think I'm going to start with this right here. I think this is a good setup. And then when it comes to the playmaking badges, we have 20 playmaking badges. Now, before I even go into any of these, regardless if you make my build or not, this badge right here is going to be one of the most important badges in the game. If you don't get bullet passer, you're, it's going to be bad. I don't care if you're a center, a lock, a guard, a corner center, an interior finisher. Bullet passer is huge. So I'm going to need that on Hall of Fame. If Basically, if you don't have bullet passer, it makes your passes super slow. Everyone's going to be able to intercept them. And even if your guy, your teammate is wide open, by the time the pass gets, it, gets to him, he's not even going to be open anymore. And a Hall of Fame bullet passer, bro, within a millisecond, the ball is going to beat him. Now, anyways, with the rest of my playmate badges, I'm going to go with Hall of Fame Engelberger. I do have playmate and takeover, so I'm going to need it. A uh, Hall of Fame quick first step. Bronze unpluckable, because I feel like, you know, there's no point in going too high on that. And there's a lot of good playmate badges, so depending on how these new playmate badges do, I'm going to change it around a little bit. Definitely going to need Hall of Fame handles for days. I'm going to go with Gold Quick Chain. Now, basically, what Gold Quick Chain does, and it makes your dribble moves just flow faster and better. And now I have none available. Now, I don't think I'm going to need Floor General or Dimer on this build because I have play takes. So the, the better, the more my takeover goes up, the easier it is for my teammates to green off my passes. But I don't know because there's a lot of good ones right here, including Hyperdrive. I feel like I need Hyperdrive, and I might even start with Gold Hyperdrive instead. But yeah, I'm sure later in the year, maybe I maybe I could put down Bullet Passer. I'll figure some su type of setup, but I'm probably going to start with this bad setup right here. And then with the defensive badges, we have 19 defense. And I get Hall of Fame defense as well. So we're going to go with Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame rim protector. Now, I know I didn't max my block, but if I do get a block, it's going to boost my takeover tremendously. Then I'm going to go silver intimidator silver interceptor bronze chase down artist and i'm also going to go silver pick dodger because i already know hella people are about to be setting screens and then i'm going to test this badge out i'm not sure if it's going to be good but y'all already know hall of fame menace man we're going to go with hall of fame menace now there might be some other good badges here like ball stripper ankle braces 
maybe even pickpocket or rebound chaser i'll use in the future and maybe hey maybe pogo stick is overpowered this year like 20 but anyways that's what i'm gonna start with and that is going to be my badge setup now hopefully i can get those badges upgraded fast now here is what my build would look like when i upgrade it now right now it is currently like four in the morning before the game drops like almost 24 hours before the game drops so you can't buy vc right now but this is what i'm gonna do if you guys do make my build this is what i would recommend you upgrade first as an 85 you don't really need close shot you don't need free throw post fade pass accuracy at least a 75 because it's going to affect the speed of your passes and the accuracy of them um and then i just didn't upgrade block i max steel lateral quickness pervert defense i upgraded rebound almost max max ball handle obviously max three max mid range max driving dunk and max driving layup now obviously when you hit 99 you're going to unlock more dribble moves by that time i'm going to unlock the contact dunks and i have 99 speed it's going to be lit but yeah this is how i would upgrade the build to start now that is my build that i'm going to be starting nba 2k22 current gen i think it's going to be a good iso build i'm i know you can shoot with a low three-pointer so hopefully we will be going crazy in nba 2k22 i'm going to be streaming a lot in nba 2k22 so make sure to turn on notice subscribe to the channel one mil on the way 10,000 likes and i will make a build on next gen and i will also drop a gameplay video with this build on nba 2k22 current gen also i'm gonna be streaming daily so i'm gonna be streaming today as well nba 2k22 so turn on noties like i said it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all i ain't Peace. never had no friends i was all alone she ain't ever called my phone she left me on my own they saying all girls are the same brother than my dog she said can you stay with me now i got gone diamond dripping off my neck is wet i'm about to flex up on my neck with a jack you said you with it